the Hillsborough County School District is now looking for more input and opinions on the school boundary changes. Yeah, the district is hosting a series of meetings again this week and two tonight. As ABC Action News reporter Julie Salomone reports, the superintendent favors one of the options that would impact nearly 15,000 students. The Hillsborough County School District hosting five meetings this week about boundary changes that would impact employees and students. The first two meetings held on Monday night, one at King High School in Tampa, another at Mulrennan Middle School in Val Rico. When they come up with something this significant, it's important for everyone in the community to be aware and be informed, and I want to be as informed as possible. The district pushed back a decision on rezoning to allow for more discussions, and input. I have a list of concerns. My first is going to be the personal one of my children and how are they going to adapt to going through elementary and middle school with a core group of kids and then being one of the very few getting pulled and tossed into a new high school. That we want to answer. In Tampa, Superintendent Addison Davis answered questions from staff and parents. He is proposing scenario four, which would rezone about 15,000 students to new schools starting in the 2024 to 2025 school year. The plan would reduce the number of over-enrolled and underutilized schools from 23 to zero. Scenario four right now, the recommendation was say $14.7 million in reoccurring dollars. The first year would be 1.2, but then as it phased in approach, it'd be 14.7, and that's a conservative. The district says school enrollment fluctuates due to housing development, immigration patterns, and Florida school choice policies. Some schools have too many students, while others do not have enough. Does it affect all schools equally across the board or does it seem to be more kids because I know there's quite a large number of kids that are on free and reduced lunch that are being affected by this. The school board is expected to discuss boundary changes at a meeting later this month on February 28th with a final vote in March. Reporting in Hillsborough County, Julie Salamone, ABC Action News.